Hi Virgo. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Virgo. The message could be for you. Take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to check out any of my services, website is down below all that good stuff what was the other thing oh yeah you can follow me over on instagram if you want to either way is fine and thank you guys so much for liking subscribing thanks for all the ways you've supported the channel let's dive in okay nice so you have got rose court you've got venus the moon and horisha star okay so those are your cards you've got a transition with the moon card so f things feel a little bit like in the unknown with the moon so you could be feeling as though a transition is on the horizon but it's still kind of like in this I have, moon is a little bit like oh fears like a transition is coming up and you're kind of like eh, there's anticipation or fear maybe some anxiety because there's unknowns about the transition, that's natural. But you have Venus with empathy, that's good. Rose quartz, yeah. And super seven, how interesting. And then we've got direction. It feels like this though. Well, the direction is going to come in soon. So this is an interesting kind of process because it's like a transition is on the horizon. There's this empathy card, which I find kind of random, but that's Venus energy coming into play. It's like what's going to help you the most in this situation is probably empathing abilities or keeping your heart open genuinely. <laughs> Don't even get me started on that. Okay. Yeah, there's like this very graceful energy that's in your environment. And we've got the squirrel. So we've got play and resources. That's actually kind of good. Is that what it is? This swan feels like the Venus energy. So we've got self-love and purity. Oh, is that what it is? Wow, I'm going to read this completely different. Are you ready? All right. There could be another energy that you're interacting with. And this squirrel energy is like, for some of you guys, it could be a masculine. And then here's this feminine energy. There's an energy that's kind of dancing around you, Virgo. And I feel as though the squirrel, they... Yeah, there's play and resources, but also at the same time, like, it could be, you could be dealing with a person that is, like, has an attention span, or they, like, I don't know why I'm getting, like, a Gemini kind of energy from it, like, they, they like diversity, and they like freedom, and they have, like, quick movements, you know, so they might, like, be very social, or they're around a lot of energies, or, and... They, I'm just getting like a, <laughs> like squirrel, you know, like diverted very easily their attention, whatever you want to label that as. That's how this person is coming across, okay? And this person might be like playing with you or like, um, weird. It's like you have to have empathy for this person. So I think they don't know what they're doing or I don't know what it is. Uh, to be honest, I'm hard, having a hard time grasping them because like you're very much exuding a self-love purity. Like your intentions are coming across as very pure, but also that you just love yourself in all the different forms that you embody. Yes, like you're ugly, you're pretty, whatever it is, you exude this self-love. You know, like I, that's what you're putting out there. It's coming across as very graceful in your process. It's, that's, the swan to me is very graceful, 
um, beautiful, like, it just has an energy about it that's like, what do I want to say? Um, no, not that word. Yeah, graceful. There's another word. I'll think of it when it pops up. Okay. Oh, there's the wise one. There's the higher font. There's the three of pentacles. Oh, the four of pentacles. Okay, so that actually is right aligned. You could be dealing with a Taurus, or this could be something about a teacher, or someone that you've been looking up to, parent. It could be very religious. Okay, we have the King of Wands. Oh, wow. This is support. Wow, I cannot make this up. Three, four, and the Five of Pentacles surrounding this King of Wands. Wow. So you're coming across as like a loving yourself no matter what. Oh, that wanted to pop out. Wow, that was so perfect too. What are the freaking odds? Okay, I am going to take the two that popped out. Hopefully you guys won't get upset or anything, but here we go. All right. Wow. So see how this pentacle, so it looks like to me, for those of you, it's, it could be involving finances or work or like your financial stability in some particular way but you've got this king of wands it could be a fire sign here um there could be something about like receiving wisdom or there could be something here about religious stuff involved in this i'm not totally sure i'll get around to it at a particular point but let's see i wasn't really expecting that this is a different energy <laughs> in fact i'm almost seeing What's popping out of this is, take it however it applies, Virgo. You could either be the squirrel or you're the swan, but it might also play out in a different capacity where you're the squirrel in one way and then you're a swan in another direction. These could be the archetypes that are playing out. So there's almost like an antsiness or a little bit of fidgeting or um, th this king of wands is like causing some kind of I don't know what it is. It's like a little bit of nervousness with the squirrel card. So there could be something about this King of Wands is like either it's attractive and it's making you do things that are kind of like out of your norm. Because it could be, I don't know what it's doing to you. It's doing something to you, Virgo. So it's like showing me, it's, it, you might need to come back to your self-love because there could have been some like abrupt movements or things, but you're... I feel like you're in self-love, like you're embracing yourself. In fact, that's what I'm seeing with the world card. Like you're just, you're just embracing yourself at this time because certain things could have felt really stressful. But this feeling rejected or left out in the cold, that's what's coming to an end, which I think is amazing. And there's that 10 of pentacles. So look at the lead up here. So for a while, you could have felt rejected, left out in the cold, or um, page of cups. It's like this very emotional sensitivity or a vulnerability. Like something that you feel very vulnerable about. And it's like, oh, that's what it is. This There's a person entering in the space that you you could feel yeah there's this four cups let me grab one more card and then i'll get to the point yes okay there's the full card there's airy season there's a some kind of a new chapter coming all right wow and i just saw this too so in your mind it's showing me that right now you could feel a little bit like I don't know if it's insecurity or it could also be coming up as that in your mind you've got an observation on something that you're dissatisfied with a more emotionally so you could be looking at your environment and you could be looking for more um 
maybe emotional fulfillment or you want something deeper, okay? Why do I get this feeling of this King of Wands? Like, this makes you kind of squirrely. Or <laughs> you're like, I don't know, just this very reactive movements. Because I think the fire of this person, I don't think you've met another or come across another energy like this or a girl. Whoever this is. Oh. Did you reject them or did they reject you? Because it's showing me that... Wow. This is a really fascinating shift because I'm seeing that there could have been a person that kind of came in energetically like the squirrel card. Oh, I am shifting in this so much, so I apologize because I'm literally seeing it in so many different avenues. Okay. There was this person here that I think that you interacted with, and I think there was a strong attraction. I'm just going to say it straight up. With this King of Wands, whatever gender they are, whatever it is, there was a really strong, like, wow, you could have been really attracted to them or just the confidence was like what in the fudge and whatever they accomplished was just like i don't know what it is this person is very strong like their energy is very powerful the way that they come across because they could be very accomplished but i here's what i think is interesting here there could have been some support here with the three of pentacles but now like this energy is kind of closed off so you could be it's like you could be seeing this person in very different avenues a part of them seems more like they want to play okay they might have resources in some capacity but they might want to be more light-hearted and playful and they might appear to be closed off or just like kind of about themselves at this time there's nothing hateful but they might appear to be more self-involved at this time with the four of pentacles they're just focused on themselves that's what it is a part of you might feel like oh left out from that but this is the exact process of the tarot you interact with people and then you can feel like that's supportive and then there's kind of like a maybe a closing off, someone feels rejected, and it's going to put the cycle to a close, whatever it is. B because, oh, typical saying, this is so overused, but it just literally popped out. This rejection might be a protection. So if there is someone rejecting you at this time, it could be you're going to move in a different direction straight up toward actual stability. But this could have inspired you or it could have got you moving. Because the squirrel energy can be very energetic. And that could have done whatever for you for a certain amount of time. Some of you guys also, that could have been like how you were reacting. You could have felt a little bit more energetically small or fear-based i'm not going to lie with the squirrel card like it kind of feels like that it's it's like very <laughs> it is very like looking around at your surroundings and just being like whoa very stimulated because you could be in a brand new environment in some capacity and you were going through this growth process to try to get to an elevation but this ten of pentacles is saying like your resources are going to be increasing which is what's going to bring this cycle to a close. Okay, I think this is just natural, but it's like, I think what's going on energetically, like behind the whole scenes of this, there was a person that came in and could have just, you know how people come into our lives for a reason, a season or a lesson, something like that. This person could have come in energetically to help you to see a life that you were calling for or a way of doing things or something that was possible that you thought was either out of reach because you see how this this is like reaching there's an energy that this could have just been like that fire comes in and it is so activating and I think this could have 
cause these squirrel like energies like you were just kind of feeling either distracted or easily pulled away or you know it's like this could have been a highly distractive energy this person could have a lot of empathy toward you or vice versa there's just a lot of that but the empathy is helping a transition take place and i do feel like a direction is about to become clear to you you just have to continue with your self-love and purity like i do feel like there's a pureness about you and you just like embracing all your perfections imperfections all of them all of it and that is helping you. There is going to be a lot, like, a significant close of a cycle here. And here's this brand new beginning that you're going to be shifting into. There it was. Because it feels like to me this King of Wands showed something possible that you thought was impossible. Energetically, this person is just an energetic manifestation of where you'd kind of given up on something being able to happen someone made it appear to be possible but you're in this process of implementing the things yourself whether it's like discipline or you're just accomplishing some kind of goal here you're coming back into connection with yourself for a while you could have been denying yourself or if someone had kind of um rejected you or abandoned you or discarded you you could have like kind of it could have hit you harder than you've ever experienced. But that cycle is complete. Now you're moving into something more stable because this increase, this 10 of pentacles or the support, the stability of this, it's grown roots. So it feels like you can rely on it. It just feels like you're finally moving towards something that you really, really wanted with that fool card. Like something actually seems possible and that could be the thing that's like really encouraging you at this time and propelling you to make some changes and to like close out what you need to close out. And this is pretty much like continuing to close out the cycle of people that keep putting you in the scapegoat situation. Do you know what I mean? And then you abandon yourself for people when you just like straight up don't fit in and like not trying to force yourself to fit into relationships or an environment. That's what you're finally embracing here. So something is possible, like your dream or whatever here, it's like, it's actually manifesting here. So just keep up with your self-love process, whatever that means. And it feels like the direction is going to be known to you or it's going to like make its appearance to you. Does that make sense? Anyway, I'm going to dive into the extended. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see it over there. But Virgo, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. See you in the next reading. Take care.